Hey, what's up YouTube? So today we're finally back working on the Camaro and we will be adding a roll cage. So let's go over to the passenger side. So real quick, before we get into the cage stuff, we want to pull out these seats. We're going to get right to it. So we're going to slide the seat forward and tilt it all the way forward. So the main thing is that we have to get to this T50 Torx bolt and also the one on this side. There's another one inside the rail down here. So we have our T50. And let me undo these real quick and then I'll put you guys back on. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and remove the seat belt from this bracket. And we kind of went through the instructions real quick. And it says to unplug this piece. I forgot what it's called, but it says to unplug and you have to remove the plastic on the side and stuff. And they recommend to pull it all out, but we're gonna go ahead and just pop this plastic off. See if I can get this pry tool in there. So you just pop it off. It has four little clips, if you can see right there, right there and two more on the side. Then it has a Torx bolt right in the middle that you have to remove. For that bolt right here in the middle, it is a T30 Torx. So let me go ahead and do it with two hands. This little guy right here. And then for the seatbelt to come off, we just push it down and it comes off as the little plug thing. Remove that, you let it aside, and then you put the bolt back so you won't lose it. Now we have to get to the electrical part. So for the electrical, there is a airbag uh, plug that we have to disconnect. It's that yellow one right there. So all you have to do is just push that red um plastic this way and then that whole clip comes off like that it's kind of tight back here so. now that's unplugged and now the whole seat should be able to come off let me go ahead and pull it out Okay, real quick, before you pull out the seat, you have to get that little plastic zip tie right here, removed from the thing that's holding it down. So you just pop it off. Now the seat should come out. We have the passenger seat out. So now let me go ahead and do the driver's side, and then we'll get to removing these back seats. So now the driver's seat and the passenger seat are both out. And you can see right here where it hooks into the floor or the front so it has no bolts in the front and then this is the back that little clip i was talking to you guys about goes right here the driver's side is exactly the same so it has that same clip right there we undid the seat belt and then we did undid both uh, rear bolts so now let's get these removed so these are held in by a clip right here right in the middle so we're gonna try to pry it up with our fingers. If not, we're gonna have to use our uh, door panel tool. So let's give it a try real quick. So we tried with our fingers and that didn't work. And we tried with this prying tool and that didn't work as well. So we're gonna give it a try with this bigger one. We're just gonna wrap it up in the towel just so we won't damage the seat. There you go, finally popped out. So is this metal piece hooked onto that plastic? This is the other side. And then we'll pull the seat out. All right, so for the Zeal one, uh, it has, it doesn't have the actual uh, pulling thing up there. You have to go to the trunk. Right here, and it has this little flap, and then you push it, and that releases the, the seat.
So in here, there is some uh, brackets right here where you have to line it up and then I guess you should be able to pull it up right here. You can see, I'm gonna have to do it with both hands and then I'll put you guys on once it's removed. So this side came out really easy. This one, was we were struggling a little bit on this side. I don't know why, but we got it out. So now let me go ahead and try to remove all these uh, seat post stuff. These are gonna come out for sure. We're not sure about these um these pieces right here. Okay, so real quick before we jump into the cage stuff, before you touch these um, airbag plugs, you should disconnect your battery. And right before we install the cage, it's a good time to wipe down uh, all these panels and stuff just because it's going to be easier now than when the cage is in so we just got a towel and some nonsense from chemical guys and we're just going to give all this a wipe down it is kind of dusty back here when you order the roll cage from cms you get two boxes you get the rear seat delete and you get the roll bar so on this box you get this there was much more of this uh padding thing the foam so we took it all out because we had opened the box for the instructions. So this box down here. I'll show you guys real quick. So this box came with this bag in it. And inside the bag there was there was instructions. So we went through it real quick. And it has photo instructions. I mean, there's no way you could get this wrong. And it's not even difficult. I mean, there's only two holes you have to draw on each side, so it's a total of four. And it shows you exactly where to put everything. So, we already removed the seats. Basically, we skipped this part because we undid it from right here. So now we have to pull the carpet back. And uh, we have to unclip these little plastics for the back piece. So that's in this box. And on the rear seat delete, come to a, this is the back part. This is the lower part. And there's another piece right here. So let me go ahead and um, Pull these clips, I'll show you guys real quick. So these clips right here have to come off. And we're gonna use our plastic tool first. Hopefully we're able to remove it with this one. If not, we'll use the one with the metal. Now with all four plastics removed, we come back out here and we're gonna get the big board there is three pieces in here so this bigger board we're gonna get out and then in here this bag was attached to this plastic and we're gonna use these clips instead of the original one so these are longer so let me go ahead and install this piece and then i'll show you guys on this uh carpet piece it has a little cutout for this so we'll slide that in and then it has a little Cut out for the plastic pieces. So you slide this in and you just push it all the way in. So the same thing as the original ones, except these are a little longer. And that's it. So you just do all four of these. And the back piece is done. Okay, with the back piece installed, we are going to pull this back. Basically, you have to pull this carpet down to get access to this part right here. So let me go ahead and uh, try to see if I could pull it down a bit more. We pulled this whole trim off just so it wouldn't interfere with pulling this back a little bit because you see it clips in here. So that gave us some wiggle room to get this out of the way and pull the carpet all the way out. I think there's uh, enough space here now to work because this is where we're going to be drilling into this part. 
So next we're going to install the legs that go bolted up to this. And these are T50 bolts. So we're gonna remove this side and that side. So we decided to go ahead and remove the rear seat belt just because it's red and so it looks like that and it would stand out a lot. If we put the, the cage in, you're gonna be able to see those red things. So we went ahead and removed them. We are gonna put that little airbag uh, plastic back on on this side. So we're gonna show you how we did that on this side of the car. So what we did is we pulled this plastic off and there is a seven millimeter in here. It has to be removed. Right here. So once that one's removed, you go over to this one. You have to pop this plastic off. Once that one's removed, there's a seven millimeter bolt right here as well. So you pull that out. And then you pop this off to put the seat belt through once you start popping out these panels. So it's a two piece panel. This piece comes off and then this one comes off. Oh, and you also have to get this, this little plastic piece right here. Just pop it off. And then uh, we pop this one off first. Let's see if I could do it with one hand. So when you pull it, you pull it firmly. Just don't yank it all the way back because the speaker is connected to a plug and the speaker is actually mounted to this plastic piece. So you just, once you hear the clips pop, just let it sit there and then you have to go through the side and unclip the speaker. So this back piece is held onto this bigger piece right here. You just unclip both of them. And then uh, you can start putting on this bigger piece. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll put you guys back on. So once both panels are off, you're able to get to those uh, T50 Torx bolts. There's one up there, one down here, and right behind this, there's a 10 millimeter to get this whole piece off. Let me get to the seat belt, and then um, we'll throw the panels back on. Everything is basically, you know, you just pop them back in to make sure you don't forget any of the bolts. Well, there's only two bolts and these little plastics. Make sure you clip everything back together, and then we should be done with the seat belt removal. All right, so this is how it looks. Without the seatbelt, we put the little plastic back on. So that thing looks way cleaner. And to do that, you basically slide this out. We're gonna reuse this bolt, so either way this bolt has to come off of this. But there's a little lock washer on there, so you have to um, pry that out. And try to do it with the little green um, trim tool. Once you slide the bolt out, you're able to get this through and then you could just clip it back on so it won't look like that just clean it like that and then uh we're also going to remove these just so they won't make any noise back here um so it's the 18 millimeter we're gonna remove the nut just like we did over there pull it out and then put the nut back on and then that should be it for the seat belts okay so now with the seat belt buckles removed we're gonna go ahead and get the little legs that bolt up to the bottom Oh, so they are actually uh, also send you a drill bit. That's dope. And they send you all the hardware. So, let's put that back in so we won't lose it. And uh, these legs are the ones that bolt up to the rear bolts for the rear seat bolts. So there it is. All powder coated cement white. Now let's throw it on the car. So basically it goes here, it goes like this. And this sits on there. So let me go ahead and put the bolt. And we'll get the other side in as well. 
and then we'll put the bigger piece in so we could drill. Then you just notice that the bolt goes all the way through the bracket like this. And that's because the seatbelt was supposed to basically bolt up on top of the, the, the bar piece. So it holds everything together. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Home Depot real quick and find some washers that fit this bolt and that are that is able to hold down the, the, this bracket piece to the wall which you need two washers we're ready to throw the cage in the car so it comes wrapped with this yellow thing and this bubble wrap and everything and this is where it bolts up to the legs that we just installed so let me go ahead and place it in there we're gonna have to put the two bolts and nuts to hold it in just so we can get the measurement of where the holes are going to be drilled and then I guess we'll pull it back out, drill the holes, and put it back in for the last time. We threw the cage in there, and we set it to where it should be, so we can mark these holes. We're gonna have to pull the cage back out. So what we did is we uh, removed that leg completely, and then we left this one on. We threw the cage in. We had to go like around this pole and then center it to get it right. And then uh, we make sure that it was where we wanted it to be up here. There's only so much wiggle room that you could get out of this, which is good. Um, so it fits real good in here. Now we're gonna pull it back out, drill those holes. And when you pull this carpet out, there's a little clip right here. I forgot to show you guys on the carpet. There's that plastic pin holding it in. So make sure to remove that so you can get enough room to get back here. We drilled four holes, so these two and the two over there. These are a little long because this upper piece is thicker so the drill bit went down a little bit but we had enough, we have some wiggle room on the cage so we should be good. Now all we're gonna do is spray this with a little clear coat just so I won't bust. We also laid a rag in here just to catch most of the uh, metal shavings but we are going to vacuum this because there is some right here and get as much of those metal shavings out and then we should be able to throw the cage back in so all right so while we let the clear coat dry we vacuumed the inside of the carpet already now we're going to install this support for the bottom seat delete and in the box there was this bag and in that bag there was that small bag with two 10 millimeter uh nuts those nuts are going to hold the plastic onto those studs right there. So you just set it on. That. And I think we should have enough room to still bolt this in place once the cage is in. So we're going to have to use a wrench. What is, it's these two. Go in there in the box with the legs. There's these bolts, these are eight millimeter Allen head bolts. So, we're gonna go ahead and put the bolts in just to hold it in place before we put these. We're just not gonna tighten them. The nut on the back side it locks into place with the actual cutout of the bolt holes. You just line it up and then you can run this in. In that black bag, there's also these four nuts and bolts. And there's these two washers, which we're thinking those were for this part right here, but we already got these in, so we're just gonna leave those for now. And then there's these grade eight bolts. So these are gonna go in here. So we're gonna put the bolt in through here, but the nut, you have to go on the back side, and hold it in place. We have it all tight. So we did these first, and then we did these to make sure that the leg was straight back here. And then we did these last. So now uh, putting the carpet back, you can see that there's a bump right here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this. Hopefully we get a nice little curve right here to make it look OEM. And then we could tuck the carpet back to its original place. So let me see how far forward the rear seat deletes cover. So we could get a measurement for this. Then we'll put you guys back on. So 
So for this rear seat thing, it's two pieces for this carpet kit. So you can see right here where the, there's like a curve thing for the tube. So we're gonna have to do something about that because it doesn't go in all the way. So there's one piece for that side, one piece for the driver's side. So let me cut this first and then we'll see what we do about this right here. We might have to cut this. We got the driver's side done. You can see right here, it's pretty good it's on the back. So what we did is we cut a Y right here. Right where the hole's at, we cut a Y. Let's say it's like this, so you cut a Y. And then it'll fold up nicely. And then up here on the carpet, we just kind of notched it around the tube. So it looks pretty good. You're not going to be able to tell. But that's as far back as we were able to get it. And this is the piece that we cut out. So it's not much. About two fingers. We try to make it round and tuck it back where it should go. In the box with the uh, rear seat delete. There's this uh, bag with some extra fabric. And those pieces are just to cover like this white piece right here. And then on that side, you can kind of see the cable a little bit. So you just uh, you would just grab one of these and, and tuck it in there. But we're not gonna use those. And there's also these plastic clips. So these hold the bottom piece to that um, plastic that we bolted down earlier. So there's four more pieces. And you just clip them into the plastic, so you kind of have to move it around till you find the hole, and it goes all the way in. Like that. So now we're ready to throw the seats back in and get these last bolts buttoned up. And we'll show you how it looks with the seats in. So there you have it. Everything is bolted back into place. Seats are in. Seat bolts are in. Cage looking real good back there. Some in white. Same color as the car. Check out their website. They have different colors. They also have cages for other vehicles. And we have these stickers. Hit us up on Instagram. Five bucks and we'll try to send them out to you. There's the ZLE. Trailblazer. Z71 and the Toyota. Five bucks for all of these. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Yonke underscore OXE Films. I'll leave that in the description down below and we'll catch you in the next one.